Thank you for logging on to NewsWest9.com. I'm Storm Tracker 9 meteorologist Damian Lee Lotus. Now, I'm not wearing the bow tie this morning. Today is October 1st, and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this is a Susan G. Komen tie that I got during a fundraiser. Now, unfortunately, they haven't released any bow ties yet, so I'm still waiting on that. For our climatology here for October, we're starting off with average highs in the 80s here for early parts of October. As we go throughout the rest of the month, we will see highs drop for the averages into the lower 70s, so I'm sure a lot of people are going to be looking forward to that. It's going to finally start to feel a little bit like fall. Average lows are also going to start to drop about 10 degrees, 57 to start the early parts of the month, and then we're going to get into the mid-40s by Halloween time. Days are slowly but surely also going to start to get shorter. Now, October 31st is going to be the last day we'll have sunsets around 7 o'clock because November 1st is when we're going to see daylight saving. I'm sure a lot of people are definitely going to be looking forward to that extra hour of sleep. Storm Tracker 9 temperature trend for today, 83 degrees during that lunchtime hour, so some very warm conditions. Lots of sunshine today, so we will see an afternoon high of 93 degrees today in Midland. 94 the afternoon high today in Odessa, 95 in Fort Stockton. Now, Pecos, you'll be the warmest this afternoon at 98 degrees. So some areas across the Trans-Pecos are going to get pretty close to breaking some record high temperatures. So a very warm start here for the month of October. Average high is supposed to be 82 degrees. We're not going to be anywhere close to that. We're going to see some areas about 10 to 15 degrees above that. So some very unseasonably warm conditions here across parts of West Texas to start that month of October. Evening plans, we're still going to see those warm conditions transition to the evening hours. We'll still be at 80 degrees by 10 o'clock. Now, if you have any evening plans here for that Thursday night, you can definitely take them outside. We're going to have a very warm and clear evening in store for us here tonight. And the overnight lows are also going to be nice and mild down to the mid-60s. Going to be a lot closer to that average low of 57 degrees across West Texas tonight. 66 the overnight low tonight in Fort Stockton, 65 in Pecos, 64 here in Odessa. Now we will see nice clear skies as we head into early parts of tomorrow morning. Now as we're heading to the weekend, I hope you enjoyed that sunshine because we're going to see partly cloudy skies and rain chances make a return to the forecast starting on Saturday. And taking a look at that weekend planner, 85 degrees the afternoon high on Saturday. We're going to see scattered shower chances for both Saturday and Sunday. We'll see a little bit of a cool down, 82 degrees the afternoon high on Sunday. And taking a look at that all important Storm Tracker 9 day forecast, 93 degrees the afternoon high for today, 88 for tomorrow, so we'll see plenty of sunshine for Thursday and Friday. But on Saturday, you're going to have to swap out those sunglasses for umbrellas. We'll see a 40% chance of rain on Saturday and then a 20% chance of rain on Sunday. I'm Storm Tracker 9 meteorologist Amy Lee Lotus. Enjoy the weather.